hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to do one aws end to end project and this kind of the scenario generally you will get to see in a industry also so what actually we are going to do first we are going to understand the business requirement because that is the one of the important thing and after that we will think about the solutioning part and then we will go for the practical so that is the agenda on this video so let us start with the business requirements so business requirement is very simple so we have a data that is coming into aws s3 so generally you will see if you are using a aws space for storing a data generally we use a aws s3 so here also our data is coming into the aws s3 one of the bucket in the form of the csv so we have aws s3 bucket there we are getting a file in the form of the csv now what is our requirement is like we have to convert this csv into the json and we have to store into another s3 bucket so we have a second s3 bucket there we have to read this csv file and we have to store in the form of the json so that is the thing we have to do so for that what actually we will use we will use a aws glue with the help of the aws glue we will try to create a pipeline that will read a data from this s3 bucket and it will try to store in another s3 bucket in the form of the json so that is very simple right so from a csv to the json conversion we are doing with the help of the aws glue now we do not have to run this aws glue manually what actually we have to do we have to do a setup like this with the help of the aws lambda automatically this glue job should trigger so if anyone is dumping the file into this AWS S3 CSV file, our glue job should run automatically. So for that, what actually we are going to use? Uh, we are going to use a Lambda. So that is the project we are going to do. So what is the requirement? If any file is coming into the S3 bucket, this AWS glue pipeline should trigger automatically with the help of the Lambda. And it should copy a data from a CSV to the JSON in another S3 bucket. So that is the requirement we have. So let's do a practical and let's try to understand this. So let's start a practical. So first I will show you the S3 bucket. So I have created a three bucket as of now. Let me show you. And similarly, you can also follow. So I have created one S3 input bucket. So this in S3 input bucket, we will save a CSV file. Now the second bucket is the S3 JSON bucket. So as of now, this JSON bucket is also empty, but our source is the S3 input. So if anyone will upload any file into this particular bucket, if any CSV file will be uploaded in this particular bucket, we should have one pipeline with the help of the AWS glue that should trigger automatically and it should read a file from this S3 input bucket and it should convert into the JSON and it should save into the JSON bucket. Like if, if anyone will store any file into this S3 input bucket, glue pipeline should trigger and it should convert CSV into the JSON and it should store into this JSON bucket. So that is the requirement we have. Now what actually we will do, we will try to create one glue pipeline. So I will search for the AWS glue here. Open in a new tab. Now you can see in the left side, click here, click on the ETL jobs. So we will try to create a pipeline. Click on the visual ETL. What is our source? Source is the Amazon S3. So I'll select that. Select on the target. What is our target is also Amazon S3. So this is the pipeline we are going to create. Now let's configure it. So I'll click on the S3 bucket. What is your S3 bucket name? First give that. My S3 bucket is the input is source is this one. So I will select that. What is the format? Format is a CSV. So now you can see a left side it is a right mark is there, right? Means our source is now configured. I will click on the target. Target the format we want to save as a JSON format. Compression should be none. And the target location we want to save into the JSON bucket. So from CSV to the JSON should happen. So that is why we have configured this. Now you can see our uh, source and the target is configured. Now let's add a IAM role. We'll try to create a IAM role because with the help of the IAM role only, it should be able to interact with the CSV and Lambda function. So we are going to create a new role. Use case is the glue. So I'll give the glue use case. Click on the next. And we are going to assign a policy. Uh, we are going to assign a S3 full access. We are going to assign a, a lambda access. 
AWS Lambda Full Access. We are going to assign a, a Glue AWS Glue Service Role and AWS Glue Console Full Access. So these are the policy we are attaching, and the role name we will give AWS uh, Practical Lambda. So that is the role name we are giving AWS Practical Lambda. Click on the Create Role. You can see S3 access we have provided, Glue access we have provided, and the Lambda access we have provided. Click on the Create Role. This role name is already access, so we can give AWS Practical Lambda New. Click on the Create Role. So this we have created. I'll go there, and I'll come to this job details. First, give the job name. So I'll give the job name as a AWS data. So that is the glue job we are going to create. AWS data. That is the glue. Or we can give the name as a CSV to JSON. CSV underscore to JSON. So that is our glue job name. CSV to the JSON. I am role. Refresh this. And we have created this one, right? AWS Practical Lambda New. So that is the I am role we will select. Come to the bottom. Version is this. Python we have selected three. Worker type is G1X, and the number of worker we'll select only the two. Job bookmark we'll select enable means if any file which is already converted into the JSON that will not again process. Okay, so with the help of the enable it will help. Like suppose one file which already got converted into json and it got saved into the s3 target location if you will enable that will not happen again in the next run so that is the thing and click on the advanced property in the advanced property uh, script where we want to save we want to save into this uh, another bucket glue script bucket that i have created so there i want to save and after that you have to click on the save once you click on the save you can see your job is ready csv to the json this is the glue job we have created if we'll go to the run if we'll click on the run this particular glue job will run but what actually we want with the help of the lambda it should trigger so that is the requirement so let's open a lambda let's try to create a lambda function open in a new tab Now click on the create function. So we are going to create a new function. The function name is like a CSV to JSON. We can give. This is the function we are creating CSV to the JSON. Runtime is Python. We will select, and the permission is uh, by default. We are going to give the basic lambda function. We can add a later. Click on the create function. Now you can see this function is now created. Bottom you can see we can write any code, but here will come later. Now when actually this lambda should trigger? Lambda should trigger whenever anyone will upload any file into the S3 bucket. So that is the requirement, right? So first we'll try to add a trigger. Click on the trigger. What is our source? Source is the S3. So we'll select that. Bucket name we have to select. So in input bucket, that is the bucket we'll select. So if anyone will enter any file or any upload, then only it should happen. So I will select only the put, then only it should trigger, and it should be a CSV file, then only it should trigger. After that, acknowledge it. Click on the add. So if anyone will upload any file into the S3 bucket, my lambda should trigger. And what actually it should do? It should call the glue function. It should run the my glue pipeline so for that we have to write a code so what is the code we are going to write so this is the code we have so i will just copy paste i will give you also you can use the same here we have only had to provide the uh, glue name so what is our uh, glue name glue job csv to the json right so this we will copy we'll come here into the lambda and the job name we'll replace with the csv to the json after that click on the deploy you can say it is now ready now you have to go into the configuration go to the permission this is the role which got created right for the lambda we'll try to add a policy here 
so that we will not get any access denied error so you can see only this particular policy which is attached here we are going to add more click on the attach policy we are going to give a s3 full access policy we are going to give a aws console one also aws full x uh, or we can give the glue console one aws glue service role we will give aws glue console full access and also the lambda aws lambda full access but in real time we only try to give a limited access so that is the thing you have to remember so we have attached this now our lambda is now ready so our code is also ready now if anyone will upload any file into the input bucket any csv file our glue job should trigger automatically so what i will do i will upload any csv file click on the add file let me add a department dot this is the csv file i have i will upload whenever i will upload what should happen lambda should trigger automatically how actually we can monitor whether it's triggered automatically or not come to the lambda come to the monitor open a cloud watch with the help of the cloud watch we can monitor whether it got triggered or not so you will see a logs in the cloud watch i'll just open that uh, cloud watch and i'll see whether it's working or not or if any error coming that also you can monitor if i'll open this you can see it started so let me go to the glue job in the glue job in the run you can see it is already running means it automatically trigger my glue job now what this glue will do it will convert my csv into the json and it will store into my another s3 bucket so let's wait it to be completed you can see it is succeed now i'll go to the s3 bucket i'll go to the bucket in the json bucket right the file should be available so this is the file which got updated i'll download this i'll just try to open and i will show you so this is the new one notepad if i'll show you you can see it converted into the json format now what i will do in the s3 bucket right in a input i have one file now suppose i will add another file another csv file let me add a employee one file previously i uploaded the department file right now i uploaded a employee file in this case it should only read the employee new file and it should convert into the json and it should store into the target location so that is the requirement now i have uploaded a file now our glue job should run automatically right so so let's see yeah you can see it is automatically running means our pipeline and the trigger is working fine now let's see whether it converted into the json or not only the new file it should convert into the json let's see whether it's working fine or not now you can see it is succeed now if i'll go to the my bucket and the json bucket if i show you you can see only the new file which got created and in a json format so that's how our pipeline is working i hope you got the idea